is rated SPG. It contains scenes with themes, language, violence, sex, horror, or drugs, which may not be suitable for children. Strong parental guidance is advised. It's me again, K-I-M, to always remind you to keep improving and you don't watch my vlogs. <laughs> Motivated. Stop! The one time I tried to join your vlog, you told me to leave. <laughs> no, I did not. So there's the reason why I don't watch your vlogs. You yelled at me four times. Why are you here? Why are you here? Excuse me, I did not say that. Anyway, you need to, you need to... Sh I mean, talk louder because so they can hear. So, I think my voice is pretty deep enough they can hear me. No, they can't. Well, we'll find out. Okay, so I gathered some questions from my friends when I posted it on my stories. And I got, he got 11 questions specifically for him. And 11? I got 11 questions as well specifically for me. And we got... 26 question for the both of us. So we have 48 questions. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do this part one and two because this is be it'll be a long vlog for us. A lot of information we're giving out. I well, know, right? I hope none of it's too personal. It is too personal. <laughs> anyway, what are for you, me, or for both of us? Question for both of us. I think it's the question for you first. That's fine. I'll go first. <laughs> Okay, so the number one question for him is what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you <laughs> while having sex? Wow! <laughs> right out of the gate with the... Uh, I know! This is the first question with for a nice, With a nice personal one right there, right? Um, and, uh, hold on. Just so you know, this is, this is on the spot. Like, we didn't rehearse this or something. It's just... I'm gonna hear all of this right now. <laughs> oh wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me while having sex is the first question I get. Yes, it's the number one. Do we know who sent these questions? It's anonymous. There are like people who wants their name to be said, but this one is anonymous. So. Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this one. Yeah, you might drink this one. Um, Come on, you're taking too much time. I didn't know there was a time limit on the answers here. So, well, I guess I can give two, really. Uh, there's been a couple different things. Oh my god, what was um, that? One was I was caught in my car by the police having sex. Ew. Um, that was years ago, of course. Um, That's not me. No, this was not with her. <laughs> uh, years and years ago. So, uh, yeah. Um, Ew! How yeah. can you do that? It was pretty easy at the time. How can you cheat on me? I don't even know you. Don't try that with me. Um, so that was probably it. All of a sudden, you're pitch dark, and all of a sudden, you're just going to make flashlight right in right inside your car. So you both naked? Yes. Ew, like really naked from top to bottom? We were having sex, so yes. <laughs> this is so... Uh, another one. Sorry, Dan. I didn't see the abuse has already not, started. Dude. <laughs> um, you did not see that. Another one would be, I mean, getting a cramp during sex. <laughs> I mean, your, your calf muscle locks up, um, or, you know. How can you, you say that casually? Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. We mean casually. Well, you're it's, just. It's a muscle that cramps. I know, but you're And anybody who's ever had a cramp in their life. <laughs> like where, cramp where? Like in your calf. Uh, and your calf just locks up and it's so painful that you can't, you just, yeah. <laughs> so those are probably uh, the top two because you, you get that during during sex, during intercourse. You're stopping everything. You're not going to continue on with, with anything going on, so. <laughs> That's a bummer. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is at that point. Okay, this is a question for the both of us. Stop cheating. Okay, the question for us, for the both of us is, are you guys getting married in the Philippines? From Monai. Shout out Monai. Thank you for the question. She's my childhood friend. 
Well, I'll, I'll go initially, David, and you can follow it up. Okay. So our initial wedding will be here in the States. Um, it is next September the 24th. Uh, so 9-24-21 is the date um, that, unfortunately, my life will... Thank you. See, I didn't even get to finish. Become amazing. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, don't try to... <laughs> because I know you're just trying to be smart uh, ass. And then we have talked about it, um, bringing something to the Philippines. We don't know time-wise um, and figuring out, you know, financials and everything and how far we need to plan that out mm -hmm. to make sure we can get... So friends are family there. Yes, because it's a lot of planning, a lot of savings, because um, getting married here in the U.S. has cost a lot of money already. So, I mean, I would like to do something for her um, because I know she has a lot of friends and some other family back there in the Philippines who uh, unfortunately won't be able to attend the ceremony here in the States. Um, and I know that's something for her that she wants to have. So. Um, I would like to do it, just can't officially say when. When. Um, yeah, but we're definitely doing it. It might be 20 years from now. No! Really? Five years from now. Five years from now is good for me. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, but um, yeah, our goal the, is to have one there, yes. The, major, the majority of our guests here is his friends. I'm somewhat Like, popular. I only have like, I think 30. 30 guests, imagine that. 30 guests and... And you have 170. Your point? Reverse it. The wedding in the Philippines, how many guests would you have? I got a lot. Uh, take a number. How many guests would you have in the Philippines? Um, maybe 100. Okay, so you're going to have 100. Or more than that. Okay, I'm probably going to have 4 or 5. At least you have 4 or 5. You have thirty. But so we're doing it first year, but, so don't yes. complain. Yeah, no. Not complaining. It'll be, it'll be fun. Um, although I will probably say the wedding in the Philippines, I will probably be in a pair of shorts. Hell no. No tuxedo because I'm. Yes, you're gonna wear a tuxedo. I, why I enjoyed my time in the Philippines when I was there. Because it's not a Hawaiian. It's wedding. extremely hot, so wearing a tuxedo for multiple hours for me is probably gonna be a no go. Wait, there's an AC there, so don't worry about it. Okay. Let's okay, go. moving on. It's a question for me. But it's still, you, I, I want you to answer this for It's me. a question for you, I don't but answer it. It's it's nicer if you're the one who's gonna no. answer this. Just listen to the question. Have you ever asked money from your fiance? It's a question for you. Exactly, but I want him to answer that so you guys can, can know <laughs> the truth coming out from his mouth. Because if I'm gonna answer it, you're just gonna say I'm just be bluffing it. Well, answer it. Well, I never asked money from you. Did I ever ask money? From then there you? you go. There's your answer. <laughs> what was you so worried about answering that because question? Because I needed to answer. You, it. Really, you get you get a money. Did I ever? Hold on, hold on. You get a money question, but if you ever ask for money, and I get a sex question out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sex question. I see too. where this where this blog's going already. <laughs> <laughs> but I never asked any money from him. Like. I, I have my job, I have my own money, so he hey. asked money from me, too. I'm just kidding. No, she does pay bills. Yes, she, thank she, you. She pays our utility bills here, so. Yes, I'm an independent woman. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> okay, so, question for you again. What is the most, the, what is the most desperate thing you have done for a relationship? I don't know if you call it desperate. But I did relocate once. Um, it wasn't a great distance. It was um, so. As those who may know, we currently live in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I relocated once to Nashville, Tennessee, which is about a four-hour drive from here. Uh, so I moved down there once for a relationship, um, and fortunately, it didn't work out. And I say. And I say, fortunately, it didn't work out because if it did, I would have never met her. Again, you are desperate enough to do, to do all that. Again, I don't know what you call it desperate, but at the time for our relationship to go where it needed to go, it was for me to relocate because it was much easier for me for the field I worked in to find a job there compared to her finding a job here. 
So basically you quit your job, you No, I transferred my job. <laughs> I worked so I worked in the hotel industry. I found another hotel job in Nashville. Actually a higher paying one, a better title position where she worked in the music industry, it was gonna be very hard for her to do music here in Cincinnati. So that's probably the closest thing I've to say I've done as far as desperate. I'm jealous. I'm just kidding. I'm not jealous. I'm not a jealous type of girl shuttle. Shit. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Is it the question for me? Okay. Yeah, it's a question for me. It says, how's life with Eric? Hmm. How's life with Eric? It's been wonderful and challenging. <laughs> Why are you so smart and cheesing? He's cheesing! <laughs> um, I think he like changes a lot about my life. <laughs> because it's kind of boring when I was just... I When the first time when I got here, I don't really have a lot of friends. And it's basically my life where just like work and home and vice versa so when i met him like it changes a lot and i got to know a lot of things culture that i didn't know before so it was it was really nice and amazing my life is amazing with him <laughs> with eric oh he's so i'm kidding okay next question how did you guys met from Jasly. Hi Jasly. Shout out to Jasly. You know him, her. Yeah, she is all trouble. Do not hang out <laughs> with her. She takes you around downtown and has you walking all over the yes. place. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was a fun time. Yeah, it uh, was. From hi Jasly. From Insta and Jason. Shout out to you guys. So how did you guys met? Well, we met because she started stalking me. <laughs> um, Ever? I did not. No, no. True story. And I'm going to tell it the way it actually happened. <laughs> so, uh, the current hotel she currently works at, I used to work at as well. So, we, we officially met through work. Um, she came in one day when I wasn't there. And my desk agent uh, told her that I would be back in tomorrow at 9 a.m. This one, misunderstanding. <laughs> shows up at 9 a.m. for an interview. And I was looking for him. Yeah, she's looking for me directly, and I did not set an interview <laughs> up with her. Uh, but, uh, luck have it, you know, she had experience in host hospitality, uh, and I was looking to hire people, so I went out and met her, and we had a, uh, a formal interview, although kind of impromptu. Um, and she was hired, and then over time, we just started talking and uh, then she started, you know, realizing we had things in common. Um, he was flirting on And your point's what? <laughs> <laughs> so, did, you, did you think I'm attractive in the first time you see me? Oh, hell no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, no comment because I, I needed to say professional. And, <laughs> um, and that's really about how it was. It was a professional interview. We started out and then once we started talking with each other, we eventually had to make a decision um, regarding careers. And she was nice enough to move to another department. Um, and then we were able to go full on with our relationship. And actually I already have like um, interview from a different hotel on that time. And then he called me first to offer the job. And the next day the other job was offering me the job. <laughs> Oh. I mean, the other hotel was offering me the job, so if he was like late, he called me late and the day late, I probably just accepted the other job, and then we would never Heard of met or <laughs> be in a relationship. You did. Heard I think it was fake. Aww. Okay, back to you, Mr. Right. Eric. Is Kim your best view from Chris? <laughs> From Chris? He's so crazy. Yeah, he's silly. Did I meet Chris? No. Okay. Well, Chris, thanks for the question. Um, is Kim my best view? You better answer that right. There is no right answer. <laughs> if, and here's the, right, here's the reason why I say there's no right answer on this, Chris. Because if I say yes, she is my best view, 
it's, she's going to tell me later I was cliche-ish and corny no. and everything else. Because she's already quoted a line from the 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> That's basically from right. that. So she's already quoted that. So if I say yes, she's going to say I took it from there. But if I say no, because we're on camera, she probably won't do it. But I'll get smacked in the, or punched in the arm later for saying no. <laughs> um, so, Whatever. But I will say this. I enjoy waking up to her and her seeing the first the first thing I see every morning. Aww, I didn't see that coming. You never see what I got coming. Oh, it's so sweet. You're my best view. Nah. I mean You're it. You're so sweet. I'll still get smacked later. No. Okay. This is a question for me and it's kind of hard. It's a hard question. Uh -huh. It's okay. been, no. Well time. They're asking if if it's ducks or juts. <laughs> It's a Filipino thing. They're asking if it's a, if it's huge, huge or tiny. Oh, we get really personal. <laughs> I mean, I'll answer this through um, a short video clip, and I'll insert insert it here. Okay, open your eyes. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> it's the best way to answer it that way. See, here's the funny thing. I'm gonna answer all the questions. She's gotta use inserts. Toy, it's best way like that. I mean, this, what kind of English was that? I mean, it's better that way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so moving on. To your question now. Yeah. What did you like, love, like or slash love about each other? Why? From Darnell. Hi, Darnell. Wouldn't that be a question for both? Not for just me. Right? Whatever, I'll answer it. That's right, I'll keep her on her toes. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Answer it. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to answer it? You're gonna cheat. <laughs> um, what I love or like about him, he's funny, he's goofy, and then he's kind of smart. <laughs> <He's funny. laughs> And then he's just mature enough for like about things like decision making. I need to like ask him about stuff like advices. I ask him about advices because he's good on that and I like that about him. I mean, I can say a lot. I, hold on, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> I mean, I can go on and on about about this, but the major thing is he oh, he can always make me laugh and make it when I'm having problems he can always like make it better I don't know I'm am I making sense mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry I didn't like rehearse this so who is this from Darnell yes Darnell all right Darnell thanks for the question um so one of the things that I kind of liked was her personality it is, is is amazing but it's also in a way it's opposite of mine yeah. um, and what I mean by that is she you know I'm one of those who I like to go out and have fun not go out and drink and get drunk and carry on like that um, but I like to go out I like to be social um, and I can lose track of time very easily when I do that to where she is like you know she rather sit here all night uh, not even leave the apartment um, so when she's with me, she kind of wheels me in a little bit and gets me to leave, you know, shortly instead of staying a lot longer. So that was one thing. So they say, you know, opposites attract. That's you know, the true like, statement. Come on, Eric, it's time to go. Usually she's just snapping her fingers, but um, you know, another thing. I mean, because it was. It? I was actually the question for both of us, so I was wrong about that. Uh, something else. Let's see that I like and love. Um, some of the faces she makes. What face? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, like you can just, just be talking to her and she'll make certain faces and... Like what? Roll my eyes? No, I didn't say I like or love that. I said certain faces. Rolling your eyes is not one that we do. I don't know what you're saying. They're just look like right now. The little cute face you got going on right Aww, now. Aww, you mean some cute? <laughs> not so much there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. Um, but uh, you know, 
Things was like no holds bar on this questions apparently either. Kind of like a pass. What the hell? Just saying. <laughs> I mean, we're getting questions about sex and the size of my anatomy and. Did you really like it? Why I asked you to marry me? <laughs> Just because of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That was not it. Uh, but no, she keeps you on my toes as well. Uh, she's got that. Uh, she got that. Filipino fire in her as well. They, I mean, it's like instant something. I didn't say muscle. <laughs> uh, just instantly it'll change on you, but then she'll change right back. So it definitely keeps you on my toes. So I, so I like like being kept alert, shall we say. Wow. Uh, but she can definitely be loving and caring. I am. Um, she's very clingy, but I don't really like it a whole lot. What the heck? I like it some. But usually after about 10 minutes, I'm done with the cleanliness. To where she wants like an hour. I am really, 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 really clingy. Yes. So. But Can you see how many minutes is that already? 742. No, for real though. No, I don't even know where to look on your phone. <laughs> it's a question for you. How much did you spend for Kim's engagement ring? You don't need to answer that. One. It's from Anna. You're such a small satchel. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer it. I'm, I'm not. Um, well, I, I, I kind of want to answer it in a way, but I can't give the exact answer because she's not supposed to know what. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not supposed to know that. What, what we spend or what what is spent on the But thank you for the question, for Anna. Yeah, Anna. Anna. Okay. Uh, thanks for the question, Anna. Um, I'll just say she's got. If it helps you any, if you want to do some research on your own. Um, Don't say that because I'll research it. You won't find it. Uh, it is a one and a quarter carat diamond uh, total with everything around it, including the big stone. Um, and it is a uh, Neil Lane setting. Um, so if that helps you out and you want to do some research, those are all <laughs> things you would know anyway if you look at your ring. She's crazy. Was, um, she's not asking. her, you. Um, so it. Uh, it was a good one, yeah. <laughs> of course, you better. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Even if he gives me like a Dollar Tree ring, I don't shop at Dollar Tree. I'm still gonna accept it. <laughs> okay, it's so a question for me. About time. When is the next raffle? It's just for a random question. My next raffle, I'm looking forward to it to be on December. So it will be like, you know, around Christmas and everything, so, and everything, so move forward. <laughs> this is a question for one of us. So you gotta go again. No. You get a question about a raffle, you gotta go again with another one. <laughs> for you. For real? Yeah. Poor but good looking or rich but ugly? Um, from Ari Fariolan. What if I get all four? <laughs> My answer is between this I'm gonna choose him. This is a package deal. Did I answer that question? Not really. <laughs> because I don't want to answer this. What if I said, what if I got all four? Are there's, you are you poor? There's been times I've been poor. Are you good looking? That depends on the person looking at me. For me, you're a good looking man. Are you rich? I have my moments, yes. Are you ugly? It depends on the person looking at me. So there I could you have, go. I could have all four actually in one week, to be honest with See? you. See? Uh, then I'll choose this one, both of them. Because they got everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that my, my answer is nonsense. Yeah, you okay. got a question you get. Okay, so the question is when is the wedding? We already answered that. Who's from? From Joshua, from Nikar, and Aya. Hi, shout out to you guys. Joshua, Nikara, and Aya. Aya. Alright. Again, thank you for the question. Uh, yeah, the wedding, uh, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, is uh, September 24th of uh, 2021. So we got roughly about 13 months. Yeah, um, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Yeah, so. Maybe some gold, what's going on. But with the wedding, good thing is we got everything booked. Yeah. Uh, now we're just. Thanks to me, I did all the hey, work. It's about time you did something this way. <laughs> I took care of the important things. Whatever. Hey, I found the I got the hall. D I got the DJ and the alcohol. I got hall, the photographer, the videographer, the makeup artist, the whatever. It's, it's done, the cake and everything. Okay, it's a question for you. What's, what is the most 
memorable thing. Kim, is that did or do for you? The most memorable thing that Kim has done for me. Oh, it's done. It's wrong grammar for me. <laughs> for me or it's from Jessamine. What did I do? Memorable thing that for I did. Me? Yeah, for you. From Jessamine. Hi, shout out Jessamine. Jessamine, thank you for the question. Um, done for you, Ben. She said yes. Uh, I'm gonna cry. You know, uh, <laughs> when, you, when you ask that that question, and there's probably a 98 percent chance that they're gonna say yes. Um, well, it, so I mean, there's, 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 there's never 100 percent chance they're gonna say yes. You never know what's going on, right? You may jump the gun a little, a little Especially early. Especially we had fights that. Thing. Oh, that was your fault. Um, but that was his fault. Um, so that would definitely be. The most memorable thing she's done for me to this point. Um, mm. and she's done a lot of great things in our relationship, but that would be the most memorable. Um, the next one would be hopefully the birth of a child. So. Uh, this, how about the wedding? <laughs> You're not doing that for me. Doing she's, it for you. She asked for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Question not for me. <laughs>